Okay, today I'm going to show you how to wind the rod. And we take one of our standard rods, and you're going to need at least have one tie uh, pull to start with. And notice I have these, these two coils so they feed from the center. So what we want to do first of all is go ahead, let's get a loop made. Get our loop made here first. Make sure you don't make it too small. Okay, and what you want to do is run these through here. And try to have them so they're equal amount showing at the end here. Kind of like that. And then we're going to pull our our tie tighter and let's pull it really tight here. Okay, and we can work this thing down here. And we'll spread them like so. So then all you have to do is you might want to cut that end off to make it a little bit easier, but just hold it tight and start wrapping. Okay. You can see this is this is a bipolar bipolar winding. Make sure that they stay on track, like you see here. And when you get done, you'll be at the other end. And you'll tie it off just like I did here. Now, 17 gauge wire is really hard to work with. Make sure you pull as tight as possible. Pull off enough to, so it makes it easy to work with. You got to hold the, with one finger. Hold that that wire on there as you rotate. And that is how I wind the, the rod. This, this will hold about 62 turns, and I can go ahead and, and of course move it up here. You can get about 62 uh, turns of bifolar winding on this, and that's what my current, uh, my current circuit calls for. So I hope that explains how to do the rod. Okay, here's how to use the jig to wind a mono star field coil. Uh, we're going to take out the green pegs right now. And if you'll notice, I have both green and black lines on the, uh, the protractor alignment here. Uh, that really keeps you from having to worry about making any mistakes. Here's how you do it. It's always based on the number five. Go ahead and secure your first wrap on the peg. Then the next turn is always going to be one, two, three, four, five. Then again count one, two, three, four, five. Count again, one, two, three, four, five. And you can actually use the visual down there to a guy that's a lot faster than counting, but it's always five counterclockwise. And I'll take you through one complete wind. I think it's number 26 wire I'm using here, 28 wire. And it's really easy if you, uh, to see if you make a mistake on this. That's the beauty of it. And if you lost count again, I'm on this peg. It's one, two, three, four, five. That's the peg. Because sometimes after you wound a few things on here, it gets a little uh, confusing. So we're on this peg, one, two, three, four, five. And we have completed one turn. Now we can continue with that pattern, or we can do something a little bit different. We can do start doing a 360. We'll move over to this peg and now we'll, we'll go one two three four five and we'll go one two three four five and etc etc et next I'm going to show you the same thing what we're going to do a 24 point starship.
what you see now is doggies. What you see is the jig set up with two coils, supply coils of 26 gauge enamel wire and you see that we're going to wind a bi filer winding uh, using two strands of 26 gauge wire in a 24 point progressive uh, wind pattern. So we have here the index pin which is very important for this wind is the index pin. And we're going to start with the black pegs first until we make one complete uh, loop and then we'll switch to the uh, green pin. So let me start here. So this is based on a count of five. Even the road is based on a count of five. So we're going to start with this black pin here. That means our next connection point is going to be one, two, three, four, five. So we take the windings, the wire, and we go across. And again, let's just count one, two, three, four, five. And we turn it here. Put that wire so it doesn't come off. And we're going to count five more pins. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to turn around this. And we're going to go across to the next one, two, three, four, five, five. And eventually you don't have to count because I have drawn the black lines across the, uh, the thing here. And we're going to go ahead and finish this winding here. Uh, and you can just look across and see where it goes. And this one's going to go to here. And this one's going to go over to here. And this is going to come back to here. And we're going to end up at our starting pin. When we get back to our starting pin where we have the index pin, we now want to move the index pin to the next position. Count to the, to the next. And now we're going to go and wrap the line to the green peg. So you'll see we're going to have a straight connection over there. So in the green is going to be the same idea. Let's get this thing quit scooting on me. We're going to have one, two, three, four, five, etc. But I'm just going to now just follow the green lines on my, my diagram. And we're going to finish this first uh, the second point. Again, you just go over, look where the wire with where the green lines are going, and that's going to tell you the wrap, wrap, wrapping pattern. And we're now back. I get this on there. We're now back to the starting point of our second point. So it's now time to move this to the next point, and we're going to go jump on over to the black. And we'll just now repeat repeat the, the winding from that over to this one here, etc. I'm going to go ahead and finish this, and I'm going to show you the finished wind. In about 30 minutes, your coil will be done. Again, this is a four inch by filer, 24 progressive point Starship coil. It's easy, this goes so fast, it is so easy to, to go past that. But it's so, un it's so easy to unwind the whole system. So uh, Starships are just so easy to work with. Here are the advantages of Starship over the rodent coil. I made uh, some preliminary tests and show no difference between their performances. Though I would say that our medic field for the given number of turns in the Starship is more because you use less wire so you have less resistance uh, in the coil. Uh, another advantage is you need no coil form. All you need is a jig. So this could be made 100 foot in diameter, 1000 foot in diameter, whatever you need. And uh, another advantage is it takes no more time to run a, a wind on one uh, uh, winding uh, starship over a, say, a quad winding one. And so uh, the next step here, we're going to bundle the cores with the tie-up pulls.